right, so we are going to review, um, go over the review sheet for um, your quiz on logarithmic functions. Um, okay, to start out with inverses. We want to find the inverse of the function. So inverse, you know, means opposite. And that means to switch x and y. So for the first one, again, we can write f of x as y equals log base 3 of x. Now I'm going to switch x and y, so x equals log base 3 of y. Now according to your definition for logarithms, you know that the base is 3, so that's going to be the base of the exponent. So base, and then we want to make the item here, the number here, which in this case is x, the exponent, and that's equal to whatever we're taking the log of, y. And now I have y equals 3 to the x power, and that is your inverse. Same thing over here, I have y equals the log base one-third of x. You want to switch x and y, so x equals log to the base one-third of y. Use your definition, so one-third to the power of x equals y. For number three, whenever we don't have a base, we know that it's to the base 10, so log base 10 of 2x. So again, I'll use the definition, 10 to the power of y equals 2x. I haven't switched x and y yet, so let's go ahead and switch x and y. So 10 to the power of x equals 2y. Notice how I did that this, after I put it in exponential form. It doesn't matter which way you go. You can either put it in exponential form and then switch x and y, or switch x and y and put it in the, in the exponent form. Okay, now I don't have y by itself yet, so I need to go ahead and divide by 2. And that will give me y equals 10 to the x over 2. You cannot simplify that. Okay? Both of them would have to have an x. The 2 would have to be to the power of x if you wanted to simplify. Going on to number 4, y equals log base 2 of x minus 1. Switch x and y. x equals log base 2 of y minus 1. Use your definition of log to exponent. So 2 to the power of x equals y minus 1. Now I have to get rid of that minus 1, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and that gives me 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals y. For number 5, switch x and y. x equals log base 4 of 16y. Use your definition, 4 to the power of x equals 16y. Divide both sides by 16, and again, you cannot simplify that so it's y equals 4 to the x over 16. And the last one, y equals the ln of x. Switch x and y. x equals the ln of y. Now, whenever you see ln, you should know that that is actually to the log base e of y. So when you rewrite that, now you can see you can use that definition of e to the x equals y. Alright, that's one through six. Let's go on. Okay, number seven and eight and nine. Again, same thing that we've been doing for the last four. So y equals log base four of x. x equals log base four of y. Use your definition. Four to the x equals y. And you're done. Over here, y equals log base two of seven x. So 2 to the power of y equals 7x. Switch x and y. Divide both sides by 7. And again, you can't simplify. And finally, for number 9, switch x and y. Now, this one's a little unique because notice that I have this minus 3 and it's not in parentheses, so I'm not taking the log of x minus 3. I'm only taking the log of x. So I need to isolate this log part first, which means I first need to add 3. Now I have x plus 3 equals log base 2 of x. Now I can use the definition. 2 to the entire side of x plus 3 equals y. Oh, and I just realized I should have a y here, because I switched x and y, and so equals y, and now I'm done. All right, let's
let's move on. Next section, all we have to do is to use a calculator to evaluate these. Um, so literally all you need to do is to put in log of 6. Notice, oh, except for I need to put it in my home screen. So you want to do log of 6. And notice that it's the base 10. There's no base written, so you know it's base 10, and you can just put it in your calculator. Three decimal places means it's 0 .778. Look to the 1. Since it's not greater than 5, I just keep it as 8. So it is about 0 .778. Same thing, you just put in log of 0.4. And you get negative 0.398. And finally, 0.571. Okay, rewrite the expressions in exponential form, which means if it's an ln, then you know that that is log base e of 7 equals x. So therefore, e to the x equals 7, just like we did on the first page. Same thing here. We know that this is log base e of x equals negative 2 because of the ln. So e to the negative second power equals x. And finally, log base e of 1 equals 0. So e to the 0 equals 1. These you're just, again, going to plug in the calculator, this time using ln and then round to three decimal places. So when you put that in, you get 0 .045, 0 .405, excuse me, 2.079. Notice that two does not count as one of the three decimal places. Okay, three decimal places is three numbers after this decimal. So you have decimal, one, two, three numbers. And the last one, ln of 6.12 is 1.812. And that's just plugging in your calculator. Moving on, evaluating the expressions. There's two ways you can do this. Okay, method one would be to rewrite so that you have the same log base as exponential base. So you could say log base four, four to the what power is 64? Well, if I go to my calculator and I put in four to the power of three, I would get 64. So I could say log base four of four cubed is 64. Now I know that the log 4 and the base 4 cancel and I'm just left with 3. That's one of your properties of logarithms. So that's method 1. Method 2, oops, I guess I can spell method right. Method 2 is to use your change of base. So you would rewrite this as the log of 64 over the log of 4. Remember the base, your log base goes in on the bottom. So, and then you can just use your calculator. You can say log 64 divided by log 4, hit enter, and you'll get 3. Most of you probably will use method 2, because um, method 1 requires a little bit more thinking, I know. Um, but definitely method 2 is a way to check and make sure that you've done the first method correctly. So for um, number 20, you could rewrite this as log base 2 of 2 to the negative 4 power, or use change of base. Either way, log 2 and 2 cancel, you'll get negative 4. Um, over here, you can rewrite this as log base 125 of 125 to the 1 third power, which is basically taking the cube root of 125 to get 5. Log 125 cancels with the base of 125, and you're left with 1 third. One thing to note on a problem like this is that if you do use change of base and put in the log of 5 divided by the log of 125, and you hit enter, you're going to get a decimal. I will not accept 0.333 as an answer. You do need to be able to press your math button and turn this into a fraction in order to give me a fraction answer. Remember, 0.33 is rounded. I want the exact answer of 1 third here. Okay? All right, so let's move on. Um, number 22, you can rewrite as log base 10 of 10 cubed. The log base 10 and 10 cancel, and you're left with 3. Over here, you can rewrite this as log base 8 of 8 to the 0, because anything to the 0 power is 1. So those cancel, you're left with 0. You can rewrite this one as log of 1 tenth to the 1 tenth to the power of negative, a positive 2, excuse me. And therefore, log of one tenth and one tenth cancel, and you're left with two. Okay. Next one, log base 25 of one fifth 
um, you can rewrite as log base 25 of 25 to the negative 1 half, and you're left with negative 1 half, so they cancel. This one's a little bit more difficult because it's actually going to be, I actually use change of base to solve this one first. Um, and this one you can rewrite instead of 27, it's 181 to the negative 3 fourths power, which is kind of a difficult one to solve. So this one I would encourage you to use change of base for, um, but if you use change of base, again, you're going to get that decimal, you might want to turn it into a fraction. Um, this one is 1 half. For number 28, you get negative 1. For 29, this one you do actually have to know that 5 and log base 5 cancel. So if you have 5 to the power of a log base 5, those two will cancel and you're just left with 4x. Finally, the last one, this one is really hard. This one you actually get um, 7 6 So I would encourage you to use the change of base for ones like this, where if you're just really having a hard time figuring it out, use your change of base and put in log of 128 divided by the log of 64 hit enter and then turn your answer into a fraction and you'll see that you get the 7 6 okay all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause here um, and finish the rest in a separate video